I'm good. I'm doing very well. Thank you so much okay. for doing this. We appreciate it. Of course. I'm excited to be on the Steve Serrano Show. The Steve Serrano Show. He talks with your favorite celebrities, gets the exclusive interviews, and never seen before performances. Here's your host, Steve Serrano. <laughs> now, I know during COVID that you didn't do a lot of cooking, uh, but you did learn how to make hard-boiled eggs. Have you, <laughs> have you learned anything else besides hard-boiled eggs so far? Can I tell you, my sister is so sick of the hard-boiled eggs. She's like, how are you not sick of eating hard-boiled eggs by now? Um, actually, I one time, miraculously, and I can never repeat it again because it was probably a fluke in the universe, on my sister's birthday, because she cooks, She, I, I, I offered, you know, I would bake something for her if it was something simple that I sure. wouldn't burn the house down. And she gave me a recipe. It wasn't that simple, but she just insisted that baking would be easier for someone like me because it's just precise, right? If I just follow exactly what I have to do and I'm quite OCD. So I made vegan cinnamon swirl banana bread for her. And by some accident in the universe, it ended up being delicious. But I'll never try it again because I'll never be able to beat what happened. But um, that happened miraculously. Now, did you have to stock up or did you and your sister have to stock up? I know everybody was stocking up on toilet paper and paper oh, yeah. towels. What did you stock up on? It's funny. We were talking about that the other day because it's been almost over a year since all that yeah. happened. And my sister and I were two people and we stocked up as if we were like a house of 10. <laughs> um, and we also thought it was going to be a pandemic for a month. So a good thing that we stocked up. We stocked up on tons of food. Um, I have... I, I, I really enjoy Starbucks egg bites. Have you ever had them? No. I, yeah. Well, hold on. Yes, I have. But I didn't know you could buy those in a store. Can you buy those in a store? So, so the day the pandemic was announced, I can't cook. Right. Sure. And I usually eat egg bites every day. And, and it's something simple. And I was, <laughs> my sister and I went to a Starbucks and we asked them to sell us frozen egg bites. And they <laughs> sold That's smart. It was her idea. <laughs> So I stocked up on frozen egg bites. I put them in the fridge, in my freezer. Um, it didn't last very long because of I ate them all. Yeah. But it was great. It was great while they lasted. Well, I was thinking frozen pizza, but you know, frozen egg bites. No, from we Starbucks. did. Fro she did frozen okay. pizza too, but okay, we also good. had the egg bites. Yeah, that's lots classic. of canned food, toilet paper as well, all the things. That's awesome. Now I know before you've said that this is a dream. You're living your dream right now. Um, what would you, what do you think you would do? Just maybe one second. If you could pursue something else, what do you think you would have pursued right now? Such a tough question because this is so much more than what I do. Right, Steve, sure. it's, it's really who I am and I can't imagine not doing this. Could have Sophia um, Carson been a teacher? Could have she, I know she's a dancer, I, but yeah. I've always loved writing. So I do remember, I even studied it in college. I studied communications and journalism. Perhaps writing or, or being an author, but I, I can't imagine, honestly, it's tough. It's really tough to imagine something else. Maybe something in fashion, now that I think sure. about it as well. Actually, no, what am I saying? I know the answer. If I didn't have any of this, I'd probably be dedicated to philanthropy. That's, That's what I would do. That's yeah. amazing. Now, I know yeah. you, you did grow up dancing. Where did that passion come from, the, the dancing part of you? Uh, my mom says that I was dancing before I was walking and singing before I was talking, and I don't remember not doing it. Sure. Um, I do come from a really musical family. Like, we love music, and so much of our life revolves around music. So I think I learned a lot of that from my mom and her influences, but I was just always performing since I was a little girl. And speaking of performing... Uh, your new single, Fool's Gold, uh, just dropped. Tell us a little bit about this new single of yours. Yes. So Fool's Gold is the beginning of a story that I am sharing with the world that begins at the start of love. And we meet a girl who's at the cusp of falling heart first into a love that feels too good to be true. And I really fell in love with the soul of the record and how the melody kind of comes in and embraces you and makes you feel like you've been listening to it forever. And most importantly, when we finished the record, I was we were in the middle of quarantine. L.A. was empty and I was driving through the streets listening to it. And it just for three minutes transported me and made me feel happy. And that's when it became clear that that's what I wanted to start off 2021 with and begin this story with. And that's um, what we did. Now, do you remember when when the concept came in your mind or the lyrics came in your mind where you were at or what you were doing? 
I was at home when Stargate first sent me the original track and it sounded very different than it does now. Um, and um, I remember I, it was late at night actually and didn't want to bother my sister who sleeps next door. And I think I hid in my closet and I listened to the demo and um, there was something about it. And I was texting my a and and we both kind of thought it was, there was something special about it. And I, when, I, when I went to the studio and kind of did my thing with it and brought it to life and then Stargate did their thing and magic happened with um, their production. And that's kind of how it was born. Now, do you remember, I know you, you hear your song all over the radio, uh, hopefully where you're at right now. I don't know if you're in Los Angeles or not. Uh, I am, yeah. Do you remember the first time you ever heard your song on the radio? Um, this even, one? No, not this one. Your very first song you ever heard. Oh, you remember yes. where you're at, I what you were doing? I remember vividly. I was in, it was my first radio tour. Um, it was my first single, Love is the Name, and I was in Arizona. And we were leaving a radio station, and we were about to get dropped off at the airport when I think at the time, I think Bieber's Love Yourself had just been released. It was okay. around that era. And Love Yourself was playing on the radio, and then I hear Sophia Carson world premiere of her brand new single, and it was my single, and it was like the, the craziest feeling. And to this day, every time I hear my song on the radio, just on Saturday, I heard Fool's Gold for the first time, and it was it's surreal. It was like Post Malone, Travis Scott, and then Sophia Carson. I was like, what am I doing there? That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. I love that. Now, you've worked with some incredible artists in the past. Is there anybody that you would love to work with maybe in the future or that, that you've never actually even worked with? Yeah, Phineas. Um, I think he's just remarkable. You know, he writes with his sister, Billy, and produces, and he's just an incredible storyteller. I would love, love, love to, to write and to work with him. I know on the radio side, we, we cringe when we hear ourselves back, especially when we started. Uh, you've got new movies out right now, um, both Feel the Beat, Songbird. Can you see yourself in, and can you go rewatch those movies in the, on the big screen? You know, it, it, you're, it, you're so right. That is such a thing. And sometimes when I watch like my early, early work sure. before I had really done anything like my first movie, it's tough for me to watch because I'm like, oh, my God, Sophia. Oh, my God, Sophia. Oh, my God, Sophia. So definitely whenever I rewatch anything, I'm very self-critical, but I can also take a step back sometimes and enjoy it. That's awesome. I love that. Now, I know you're all over the place. Where's the most random? This is such a random question. Where's the most random place you've ever been recognized? Like a place in the world yeah. or just a location? It, yeah, location or place. Do you, were you at the Starbucks getting your egg whites? And, I was uh, at the bathroom at the Hollywood Bowl. Really? At a Jonas Brothers concert, 2019. That, so it was recent too. Recent. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, recent. I love that. Recent. I love that. Um, now, have you ever geeked out and had to instantly call your sister or call a family member that you ran into somebody in Hollywood? Then you're like, hold on, hold on. Do you know who I just ran into? Yeah, it happens to me all the time. Um, I mean, my first big freak out was when I met J-Lo backstage at my very first red carpet. And I was with um, a, a record exec who was friends with her. And I remember he was like, do you want to go backstage and meet Jennifer? And I was like, Jennifer? Like, you mean Jennifer Lopez? And I just couldn't speak. I didn't speak. I didn't say a word to her. I was just staring. So it was definitely a freak out moment for me. And recently I was at the Golden Globes and I walked by Jane Fonda. And I definitely had to call my mom, my grandma, my sister, everyone. I was like, I just walked by Jane Fonda and I'm not okay anymore. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. I know so many of your fans are watching this right now. I even know uh, before I, I was connected with you, I told my niece, hey, I'm going to talk to Sophia Carson. She knows everything about you. Uh, oh. What would you love to say to your fans right now if they are watching? Just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you each and every single day, every single second. My heart is yours and I cannot thank you enough for the heart and soul that you pour into me and into my music and into everything that I do. And um, everything I do is for you guys. And I just hope that you hear parts of your hearts and your stories in mine. I love that. Now, before you go, uh, make sure Kansas City, everybody else all over the place, your new single, Fool's Gold, your new movie, Songbird, Feel the Beat, uh, both out all over the place. I'm going to put you in the hot seat. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All I right. think I am. I think you're ready. I think you're ready. Uh, what's Sophia Carson's favorite junk food? White cheddar Cheetos. Have you ever had them? No, I have not. I thought you were going to say white chocolate Reese's because those are my favorite. But no. Oh, whoa. They're a game. That's, my, that's mind blowing. That's a, it's a game changer. You have to I try have to one. I have to try that. And especially right I now had, during, to... during Easter, they have the eggs. And they're incredible. 
because I do love Reese's. I love anything with peanut butter. I usually need a balance. Like I need the salty and then I need like the chocolate or like the sour. Okay. And recently I've also really gotten into Doritos randomly, like the Cool Ranch Doritos, but my favorite junk food. And it's this brand of, che- it's Cheeto brand, but it's called like the Simply Cheeto brand. I don't know why it's simpler. I don't think there's anything simpler about it or healthier, but it's like a skinny and it's a white cheddar puff. And I cannot express to you the glory that is in that bag. I'm going to try that. You try the white chocolate. And I'll Reese's, try the egg. And we'll, we'll revisit. We'll revisit. Yeah, we'll touch base. <laughs> What's the, the, the last thing you do before bed? Last thing you do before bed? I text my mom goodnight. Love it. I love it. All right. How about this? Favorite ice cream flavor? What's Sophia Carson's favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Anything chocolate. Just plain chocolate? No, it can okay. be like... It could be just anything with chocolate. I remember when I was little, there was a Ben and Jerry's one called Chocolate Therapy, which was just like chocolate everything in the ice cream. And it was amazing. But I just love chocolate ice cream. How about you? Um, for me, it would be like a mint chocolate chip. You know, I've never had mint chocolate chip oh, ice cream. This and the white chocolate eggs. Come on. We've got it. We've got I know. It. It's time. I got to work on this. It's time. <laughs> it's time. All right. I think I know the answer to this one. Dogs or cats? Okay, so this might be shocking to people watching. I've always been a dog person and I adore our Joey, my sister's dog, Joey. But my grandma recently got a cat and it's this beautiful, fluffy white cat named Mishwa. And she's like this big. And there's just something about that little kitten that I just find so adorable. And before I did not like cats, but I may be converted. (laughs) I thought you were instantly going to say Joey. I mean, there was the answer right there. Joey, I Joey's I was on wrong. a different plane, but I don't dislike cats. All right. How about this one? Uh, what's your favorite spot in Florida? I know you grew up there in Florida. What was your favorite place to go to? I mean, Miami's such a beautiful place. Um, maybe West Palm Beach okay. is a really beautiful. West Palm Beach is a beautiful, yeah, it's kind of a beautiful escape. We'll do that. What about your favorite app of all time? What's it? What's the, or excuse me, not of all Actually, time. Actually, I take that back. Disney World. Disney World yeah, is the best yes. part of Florida. That is true. That is true. That is true. All right. What app do you use the most? What app do you use the most? Instagram. Instagram. And my email. And my email app. <laughs> that's, that's true. Those are the two things we have to survive by. Instagram and the email. Very that's smart. Uh, how about this one? Two more questions. What time is your alarm set for? Oh, it depends every day. Changes every day. Okay. How about you? For me, it would be like 7 a.m. If I'm yeah. not if I'm not supposed to be someplace else. If not, I've got to right. set like 15 email or 15 alarms. It's 15 alarms, just yeah. Just to wake it up depends. at 5 a.m. Because if I have to be like at a 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. call time, that means I'm up at like 4 or a little bit around that. Do you, have to do, mul- do you have to do multiple ones, though? Like to wake yourself up by 6? Do you have to like 5.50? No, I'm usually, I'm usually good with one. Wow. I might snooze it but I'm usually good with one. I've never met a person that can do that. That's impressive. Between you and my dad, that's it. You're the only two people I've ever really? met. Really? Yes. I'm honored. <laughs> All right, last question. Who is your best friend? Uh, my sister. I love that. Sophia Carson, <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time. New single, thank Fool's you, Gold. Steve. New movie, Songbird. Feel the beat both out right now. Thank you so much. Got to check out the music video. Such a great music video too. Sophia thank Carson, you, thank you so much. Sending you my love. I can't wait to try the Reese's with white chocolate and the mint chocolate chip ice cream. And, I'm gonna and then you have to touch base on the Cheetos. It's white cheddar Cheetos. Simply white cheddar Cheetos. Simply. That's You're the gonna part. Thank that's, me. That, I'm going. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for I'm, it. I'll DM you the screenshot of the Cheetos. Yes, please do. I'm going to. I'm going to do it when I have my Instagram. Thank you, Sophia. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you guys so much for checking out our interview today with Sophia Carson. It would mean so much to us if you would subscribe, like, even hit that notification so you can catch more interviews just like today with Sophia Carson. Make sure you check out our new single, and we'll see you guys next time.